Okay, well, hello everybody. So, we're putting together the valve assembly for the straight six 4.0 liter Jeep engine. Here. We've got one, two, three, four, five sets done. We're going to do the sixth set right now. All right, uh, tools that you need. You need a deep socket, I'll show you why. You'll need a valve spring compressing tool. And that's pretty much it. The kit, the rebuild kit I got, came with these little uh, valve guide seals. And it even comes with a little sign on it that says EX for exhaust and IN for intake. So I know you probably can't see that, but the one that's colored yellow is exhaust and the one that's colored silver is intake. So let's go on here as well. But here we got a, we got an intake and then we got an exhaust the intake valve and I dip it in oil, put it up the guide. For the intake, we use the silver colored seal. We press it on. Get your deep socket and kind of make sure the seal is nice and set in place. Spring, cap, little retainers. You just put a couple threads down on. So that was the intake. It's just as easy as that. Exhaust valve. Get the end in oil like I do. The guide. The seal. And the keepers. Again, you just need a couple of threads right here. There it goes. Now I know there's the really fancy tool, but I'm building engines in my backyard, right? This is all on a budget. So I use the caveman tool. But anyways, now they're all dressed. We're gonna put on the rockers and everything after I get it installed onto the block. Hope you had a good day today. Wednesday, so it's hump day. You know what that means, boys. It means we're halfway through the week.